Hello, welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, we will talk about control structure. Specifically, in this video, we will talk about the if else statement X programming language and we will understand if and else with example. So, without wasting time, let's start. Uh, in this slide, you can see that what is if. So, as you can see, the if statement is a conditional control statement that that allow you to execute a block of code if a specified condition evaluates to true for example if someone will say that if if the age of a person will be greater than 18 then he is adult so this is a nothing but a condition control statement okay so this type of condition we need to check in our programming language sometime to take decisions so that's why we need a uh, if condition to check the conditional statement okay and in this here you can see i am checking a condition if the age of a person is greater than 18 then the person is adult so how can we implement this particular condition in our code so as you can see that in the slide here you have a syntax and in this syntax you have to type the if keyword and inside that bracket first bracket you have to give the condition checking it may be true or it may be false if this particular condition whatever inside this uh, bracket first bracket if it will be true then it will go inside this two bracket that means this is nothing but a block the second bracket starting and second bracket ending here and this is nothing but a block of code and inside this block you can write any number of statements it can be two three four or hundreds of line inside this two block but if this condition will not true then this block will be skipped and your code will not run inside this block okay for example in this here you can see the exam one example of if statement for example there is a variable primitive data type integer a equals to 12 and we are checking a condition if a equals to a equal equal means it will check the value of a is equals to 12 or not if this condition will true then it will print this information that value of a is the value of a is 12 so here percentile 1 will replace with this particular variable a and if we'll, in this case you can see that the value of a is 12 already i set it so that's why this particular condition will be true and it will print uh, this particular statement or it, it will execute this particular statement okay and it will print value of a x uh, value of a 12 okay now we'll move to the next example so i already told that if the condition is true then it will run but if this will be false so we can execute another block so we have to take the else block now we'll uh, see that so you already know that the if condition is a conditional control structure that allow you to execute a block of code if a specified condition evaluates to true otherwise what it will do it will skip uh, the code of the block is skipped and in the second uh, paragraph you can see there's a statement is used in conjunction with the if statement the else statement is used in conjunction with the if statement to specify a block of code that should be executed when the condition in a if statement is false okay and it provides an alternative code path to follow when the condition in the if statement is not met okay for example using this example it will be easier for you for example if uh, if the age of a person is greater than 18 and if it will be true then it will execute this particular block of code that person is adult if 
it will be false if the condition is false then it will go to the another block and it will print or it will execute this block of code that this person is not adult so we can implement it using coding so let's see how you can achieve this using the code so in the slide you can see this is the syntax okay so first we have to give the keyword if after that inside this true bracket we have to write our condition and if this condition will true then inside this two bracket whatever the line line of code will be there it will execute and if this condition will be false evolute to false then it will go to this else statement or else block and whatever the line will be present inside this two bracket it will execute all line of code okay this is the syntax of if else now we'll see one example as you can see in this slide that we have a variable called a with a value 13 and we have a variable b with value 12 so now we are checking that if a equal equal b or not or a equals to b or not so as you can see with the variables value we can easily say that 13 and 12 is not same so that's why this particular if condition will return a false value here so directly it will not go inside this particular block directly it will go to this else statement okay now whatever the value uh, line of code will be there it will execute so at this point of time it will print out that a and b is not same or equal okay and if i'll change the value 12 to 13 for the b then the value of a and b will be same and now at this point of time this statement will evaluate to true that's why it will go inside this statement and it will print a and b is same or equal okay i hope now it's clear how we can write the if and else in our programming language now one another situation may arise that we need to write some complex if else statement inside if else statement so oh, if this type of situation will occur then we call it as a nested if else statement we can say it if else nested conditional statement so let's take a look how we can implement that so as you can see in the slide that we have a syntax of nested if else statement so for example we have a if condition here and it is ending here and there is a else condition here and it is ending here and inside this e block we have another two another one if else condition you can see here that if and there is a else also in the else statement you can see it started from here and ending here you can see easily that if we are writing another if else statement inside this if block or it can happen that we need to write the another if else statement inside this else condition then this type of nested if else block or if else condition is called nothing but nested if else one may ask that can i write the if else inside this particular uh, block of code yes you can do that then it will be the third level of if else uh, condition okay so this way you can write your code uh, in a nested manner if it is required or if the condition checking is important okay i hope it's clear now we'll show you one example so that the concept of nested if else will be easier for you so in this code you can see that we have two variable a and b the value of a is 3 and value of b is 1 and now in this condition in the if condition we are checking that value of a equals to 3 or not if it is 3 then we are going inside the if block and we are checking one another condition that if the value of p is equals to a 
1 or not so if it is true then we are printing out that a equals to 3 and b equals to 1 and if the first condition if condition will false it will directly go to the else condition and it will print the that a is not equals to 3 also it is b is not equals to 1 so this way you can arrange your code uh, to check few conditions in some business logic it will require to check multiple cases okay to identify the value uh, is correct or not okay that time you know, may need to um, use this particular nested if statement so i hope now it's clear how you can execute the nested if else condition so this is one kind of uh, arrangement of the if else condition uh, there can be one more uh, if else statement can be there that is called the if else ladder okay so let's have a look how we can arrange the if else code in different way in this slide you can see that the if else ladder is there and we have a syntax for this if else ladder and in this syntax you can see that we have a if conditions okay and a boolean expression we have to give here so why it is boolean expression because inside the if statement we always try to evaluate an expression or any condition and ideally it should return true value or false value that's why it's a boolean expressions okay and inside this if condition if it will be false it will go to the another block right and again after else condition we are checking one if condition that if this particular boolean expression will be true so if this is, we are checking the first check and uh, if it will not true it will go to the else and again it will check for the another condition if this particular condition will be false it will go again the else condition and in else condition you can see that we are checking again another boolean expression or another condition if this condition will not true then it will go to the else part and at last you can see that we don't have any boolean expression or we are not checking here at last we are executing a block of code only in the else statement so this way you can check multiple if condition if required and at last you have to give the else statement so here you can see only three if condition here is there after the else um, only three if condition is there and we have the if else if uh, after two um, else statements so you can increase this kind of else if multiple times and after that at last you have to give one else condition okay so if i'll give one example it will be easier for you how we can use the if else ladder so here you can see that we have a line of code here and there's a variable integer score is 55 and first we are checking a condition if the score of the student is greater than 90 then we can print his grade that he is actually getting the a grade otherwise if it uh, again we can check that else if if he is uh, getting score greater than or equal to 80 then we can say that his grade is b again if this condition will false if we will not get 90 greater than 90 as well as <coughs> greater than 80 then it will go to the another condition and it will check for if the score is greater than equal to 70 or not if it will be true then it will show his grade is c again if this condition will be false it will again check if his score is greater than 60 or equal to 60 or not if it will be true then it will uh, print the grade d otherwise if this will be false then it will go to this else condition and it will show his grade as f it means fail okay so this way you can implement okay and if you have the score system uh, below 30 or 50 then you have to add this else if condition two more time or three more time as per your requirement 
and at last you have to give the default statement so if anything will not match here any condition will not match here at last it will go to this particular else statement and it will print if okay so this way you can use the if else ladder in your code so i hope you understood the concept of control structure and how we can use if and else statement in our code so if you have any question and confusion you can write it in the comment section we will try to give you solution as shown as possible so thanks for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care bye bye